Morning, children. And when I say that, I mean it's five o'clock at night, evening, children. Um, we have been on a top secret mission today. Um, top secret from YouTube, anyway. Um, you will get to see everything I've videoed at some point, but I can't give you a definitive time when you will get to see it just because it's somebody else's business. You'll understand that kind of thing. Um, so we've just got back now, five o'clock. Everything here is already done and was done this morning. We just need to go to uh, Roy's dad's and sort some cows that are going to the auction tomorrow. So eight of them are going tomorrow morning to Carlisle and they're going in our stock box. So that's hence why there's eight of them going. And yeah, we'll sort out which ones we're gonna take first. And then the day after that, there's gonna be some going and the day after that, there's gonna be some going. So it's three auctions, four auctions, including the sheep in three days. That's crazy. That, we are getting rid of some animals. Oh, you can't park in there. Why would you possibly think that you're getting a better deal in there than you are out here? You're literally just gonna piss and pee all over everything. I've none of that, thank you. So these ratchet straps are really just to stop the animals getting in the troughs, but let's be perfectly honest, they don't actually work 100% of the time. Is that one undone up there? I can't believe it. Like these things are huge we've just decided compared to other breeds of animal stop giving it away boy it's just ruined the whole thing i'm gonna have to bleep you out ruining my tom pemberton surprise for later i've got a fly in my eye no joke an actual fly trying to fly inside my eye Uh, all neck rails are now in. These are called crank neck rails. I didn't know that until we bought them. But yeah, basically your cow does this. Puts them in a position, the correct position, to be able to lie down central. That's essentially what they do. So yeah, put all these in. Um, they were all to grind a tiny bit off, but it was not the end of the world. All mats are now down. As you can see, they're all to drill down. Um, still plenty to do, still plenty to do. Dean's back on Tuesday, so tomorrow by the time you watch this. Um, main jobs that we need doing, let's be uh, real. The bulk tank room needs concreting desperately. So, the water, that's Dean's first job, I think, from what he's just said on the phone. The water needs finishing here, and then we can get this concreted. We can get that in and then we can brick the wall up. So that's number one to do. Then the doors and windows can go on. There's a guy coming in cladding. Now we've gone for cladding. It's like a plastic cladding and it goes everywhere. It's not the, not the spray coat stuff um, that Tom Pemberton used. It is literally like an, a physical plastic cladding. And maybe not aesthetically quite what we wanted, but I think probably the best thing to do. Then doors are coming for here. Um, three doors here, which is grand. These are staying like this. It's concrete, They're staying like this. So we're just gonna use a bit of sealant in here. Um, absolutely brilliant. They're all job, job, job done, job done. Gonna uh, render up till about here. Not personally. No, you might get that. <laughs> Don't be so silly. Um, yeah, Roy's going to render. Um, we're not going to do the whole wall. So the cow muck can actually rot the breeze blocks. Um, and they've done such a good job. It seems such a crying shame, though, to um, render over something so absolutely beautiful as this block work. As um, we've done a lot of breeze block work, other people have done, obviously, for us, because we couldn't do it ourselves. <coughs> Roy went in co-op the other night and he wanted a loaf of bread. And they didn't have any in. Anyway, one of the last thing cops said, um, I'll get you some out the back. Opened the door 
And bear in mind, Roy oversaw this project, so was there when the builders were there, and opened the door and the block work in the back of what is the co-op is horrendous compared to that. And that's on a farm. These guys have been an absolute example. They have been so good, honestly, they're so neat. This here has been painted um, just black, the same as the doors and all the rest of it. But yeah, that's where we're up to. Exciting, exciting. We spoke to somebody today about um, pressure washer versus volume washer, and he says the volume washer will not be sufficient enough to keep the robot area clean. You will need a little pressure washer, so we're going to invest in a little pressure washer. We do have a big catcher wash, um, a professional, like a professional catcher wash from the garage days, but I think that is, it's like half the size of a car. It's not exactly something that sits in the corner. Um, so yeah. We're gonna have a look at one of those. Yeah. We'll get a price on it. Um, I'm joking, I'm joking. I might just go and get a track on demo. No, three, so obviously I need them. I might just go and get a quad track on demo. Do you think they give me one? Now, sometimes, sometimes you do just wonder if there's brain cells in here. This is carnage. This is, this is absolute carnage, honestly. Uh huh. Uh, and as for you, are you joking? Are you actually joking? What the hell is the crack here? So we are sorting cows. The light is really, really bad, so you can't necessarily see. The little one. Yeah, got it, got it, got it. So we're sorting cows out, basically. Other way, other way, other way. Got her, got her. Them two. They're not good enough. Come on, dogs. Take a stay. How many? Yeah. Go on, ladies. Go on, ladies. Go on, ladies. So these are the ones we picked to take tomorrow. The Limmy needs to go. She's not going to grow anymore. I know she's only small, but she's not actually going to get any wider, I don't think. Um... I'll maybe feed them and then show you the backs. So these Anguses here, they came the year Rufus was born. So 2016, and they were a hundred pounds each as calves. Hold on, that's really bad. I should, I'll feed them and then I'll go around the back of them and let you have a look and see what you think. This came from neighbor Malcolm, neighbor Malcolm. So that was when I talk about having deficiencies and we were losing calves. That was one of the calves that we had to go next door and buy in to put um, onto one of our cows. So I'd have skinned the calf and put the skin onto that. And then the cows would have reared that as its own. But yeah, that came from neighbor Malcolm. At the same time as going to get some baling twine for that gate because we do not want them mixed up before morning because we do not want to have to do that again. Okay, so these are the guys we picked to take. And her, but we don't really bother with her. It's just not worth it. It's the red hair. So back ends. To be fair, there's nothing. We've got rid of everything curvy. I don't know why I'm showing you. Um, mostly Angus's and these dairy cross things, so they're nothing too impressive. Steady, Lassie, steady, let me out. So we're taking down all the numbers. Everything has tags as they always should. So in terms of tags, there's only one bullock on the farm uh, without one tag in, which has got one tag in, but it needs another. That's it. So you may have just seen top lambs inside. Which, honestly, they just didn't do, they didn't do. Um, we have had these in a while now and they're just like the crappy ones from the end and um, they just will go to the collection centre. The gimmers, absolutely grand, perfect, wonderful, like they're doing really well but them things in there, I don't know what it is. So the last couple of years we've tried segregation, we thought, well we had it in our head, we never castrated bulls, we never did, until we had all these dairy things, we never castrated bulls and I had it in my head, why we're castrating lambs, surely they'll grow faster um to be fair no i don't think they did i don't think they finished any faster from having balls at them at all and they were more of a pain in the ass to keep because you couldn't run them on with your gimmers um i will be castrating again this year 
Uh, Alan Deaton came to give us a hand with the cubicles, you may have seen, and um, he was telling me about a little tool as well that you can get to stick around the balls, because I was telling him the story about the time that I deballed a... Oh, it was just a dairy bull that came, and I hadn't done it properly. I'd sort of... I thought I'd got both balls in, and I didn't, and it ended up that I'd taken the skin off, but one of the balls had gone up. Anyway, um, it kept jumping out, and we kept thinking, what the hell is wrong with this thing? Why is it jumping out all the time? This is crazy. And then all of a sudden, and it kind of, it must have hit puberty because its head just went mass. It's dark in the bedroom, upstairs. Roy has just opened the back door and said he can hear a bar, as in a baby bar. I've got the night vision. I'll do this before I leave the house, um, because otherwise it'll get very dark. There's deaf old baby lamb around. Um, it's barring an awful lot, which obviously means it's either been dropped and walked away from. So I'm just going to walk. I'm going to stay on the lane, if I'm honest, and then get out of the fields that way, because otherwise I'll bloody get lost because it's pitch black. Um, I'll be quiet so you can hear it. I have, I have night vision, um, so I'll be able to see the sheep if I stay quiet enough. I might hook it up to my phone so you can see as well. And then you can see what I see. So, there we go. There was, I couldn't see anything, I could hear it. I'm wondering whether the sound's been carrying from like three, four, maybe four fields across, maybe even five to where Plads, we call them Plads in village, the lads. I wonder if they've turned some lambs out because I could not see, <coughs> excuse me, I could not see a baby doll at all. But do you know what? I love a midnight jaunt, like in the fields in the middle of the night. Who doesn't? So, yeah, that was silly, wasn't it? I was going to leave my phone um, over there, but it was like I wouldn't. <laughs> Just no. They're in. That was hard. There was a blue one that just wouldn't lift its foot up to get us get the gate closed. So there was a possibility they'd all just come running back out. Well, four of them had come running back out. That one will do. Why have Land Rover got Ford hauling for them? <laughs> Ford Motor Company. Job done. My favourite thing about Carlisle is seeing that beast of an ML, honestly. Looks like everybody is trying to drain. Oh, he's pumping it out. Look at that. The weather's just impossible at the minute. Jacob, husband, is that... Oh, thank God you're all right. Don't do that to me. God. Uh, I told you were dead. Oh, you've got a limp. Come here. I 
thought you were dead. I actually thought you were dead. That's not even funny. Not even funny. I thought you died. I thought my favourite boy. Oh, you stink. Ugh. I need this foot doing. Don't chase me. You're not even funny. So these are only second year seats. So that's why they're greening up so fast. Can you guys remember when these came? Because I can. I can remember. It was not that long ago we were bottle feeding these babies. They ain't babies anymore. So we're still using this little pen as like a holding pen because they've trashed the trough at the back and they just mess around with the pipe and it just leaks everywhere so we end up mucking them out we put them in here and we put them out and we put them in here it's just way easier that way waste of space absolute waste of space but it works so these gadgets here all right these gadgets here these next door they are all going to carlisle <laughs> So these guys have got a fresh bed. And they can come on through. As naughty as they are. Steady boys, steady, steady, steady. Boys. Come on, get out of here. Can you believe that these bad boys are the tiny, puny little calves that we were feeding? Like, they have really outdone themselves, haven't they? And do you know what? They're not actually little. If you come and stand next to me, come here. Bit further. Bit further. Bit further. Show everyone how big you are. We're just going to clip some... Uh, the girls out just to make them a bit more presentable to go to the auction. Standing in the silence, I can almost hear you say, No place like home, no place like home, no place like home, no place like home. Just you and your own homemade home. So, this thing here is a byproduct of the dairy industry, essentially. Uh, it is a car from down the road. Uh, Chris and Catherine, absolutely lovely people, and we had a calf died one day, and we went to them, got a calf to put on our cow. Why would you want to keep the mothers when that is what a calf that you can buy from a dairy farm looks like? Why? Like, that is better than some of the calves. Well, no. Well, you can't say it's better because it does have a square ass, obviously, but honest to God, it's, it'll get as much money could we say, as anything that we've got. Go on, So I'm just going to shut this gate and jump in the tractor. Those guys are going tomorrow and they're going to Barnard Castle Auction, which is the auction that we've used for years and years and years. So they'll be the last ones that we sell there. So we have done lots of cattle moving around today. Um, sell, sell, sell is the main aim of this week. So so tomorrow is Barnard Castle auction um, we will be taking them there in the morning and then on Wednesday it is Carlisle auction with all of the dairy bread bullocks. Just need to wash the trailer out after today's use because we've been ferrying cattle about um, so I'll drop the cleaning off, wash the trailer then we need to muck them out because they haven't been done today yet but we have just been running around like Egypt's I've washed the trailer. I am sufficiently filthy. Um, I'm going to go mugging cows out 
and then we need to take some silage to raise dad's house because we also didn't do that today um but yeah thank you very much for watching lovely long time and i'll see you next time